Okay, hello, my name is Bruce Lewis, and I'm here to introduce you to some new wonderful games that will help your kids. This is hopefully, I'm talking to some parents and some teachers and even some kids. Um, these games are help you learn some logic skills that will help you with math and maybe even with reading. So, but the, most of all, they're just fun games. Uh, mathematicians have been playing these games for a while, and they, they're kind of fun recreational math games. So I'm, I'm going to teach you how to play. The first one today is called Hex. Okay, Hex was invented back in 1942 by Piet Hein. He's a Danish mathematician. And also in 1947 by John Nash. He was going to Princeton then. He a, was a famous Nobel Prize winning mathematician. And so why don't we get started and we'll play some this wonderful game called Hex that will really get you kids thinking. So let's do it. And there was the first move. So white again is kind of going from the bottom of what you're seeing to the top and black is going to be going from left to right. And there's another black just went. So you can see these guys now. They're playing this fun game here. Again, it's called Hex. They're trying to connect them. As you can see, the board's made up of little hexagons, right? That's where the name came from for the game. Hex. Six-sided figure. You want to try to block your opponent. Uh oh, Black's kind of getting a good little weaving line. We'll see. The interesting part of this, if you can block your opponent, things can kind of change pretty quick. One guy might seem like he's got a good strategy. Uh oh, it looks like Black's got a really good strategy going here that's going to be hard to beat. Um, you, in this game, on the board that I gave you, if you don't have stones to use, your kids can just use markers. One could use like a blue marker and the other one could be a... And so the game's over. Can you see how black had that, this line going from here around up and straight from the end zones? Okay, gentlemen, play one more game for me. Let's see how it goes. Take your, take the stones off. But what a lot of people do is they'll just get the, the hex board and they'll kind of just use use uh, markers. So you don't need these little stones. You can just use markers, different colored markers. So like one, one student might use a blue marker and the other might use a red marker. Or if they just have pencils, pencils and pens, one student could use like a a blue pen and the other student could just use their pencil. Um, at the beginning of the game you can, uh, there is a strategy rule in there that the first person who moves usually has a slight advantage so after the first person puts their stone down, the second player can decide to use the, the pie rule or the swap rule, where what would happen is the second person would then become the first person, and, and they would be that new color. Whatever piece was already played on the board, that would become their piece, 
and the player who just moved, they'd have to trade colors, and so that that player who made the first move would actually grab all the other colored stones and start playing with those. And so they can switch. Okay, you can see who won in this game. You can see that white won. Um, white went along with this snaking move across. An important thing to notice is the four corners of the board um, could be used by either player. So remember that. Four corners could be used by either player. Hopefully it, you're, we never have a break between um, subjects in school or a snow day outside and you can't go out for recess. This is a great way to spend some time and the kids will just love it. So, okay, begin fellas. Let's see who wins. Remember white is going from, in this picture, from bottom to top and black is going left to right. You got to kind of block each other, right? So that they don't get their little weaving kind of like snake shape going all the way across. Again, you don't have to put the pieces in the end zones either. Because you know the other player can't put theirs in there anyway in that end zone. They can share the four corners though. It looks like white's getting a good head start here. I see a snake going straight up. Can black block it? He's trying to block it. Where is he going to block at? Okay, right there at the bottom. Ooh, so there he's going to try to block the bottom rank. Ooh, but he didn't get to do it. Um, this board that they're playing on is kind of small. The the board that I posted on the on the teacher tube website is a little bit a few more squares. So this is a little bit smaller. So you should download that one. It takes a little bit longer. So looks like this one's almost over. Ooh, white one. 